What's good, sneaker fam? Welcome back to our sneakers. Before I start, I do want to say that I'm doing a Yeezy giveaway, and if you want to enter, go ahead and click the link down below in the description. And also, I am raffling off this Yeezy mask right here for five dollars a piece. There's a total of about like 35 tickets left, so make sure you get it while they last. And the winner of the raffle will be chosen when all tickets are sold. Anyways, today I'm gonna to go over the top three sneaker releases in March. Number three on the list is the Jordan Six alternate colorway. And this one was kind of just a filler because I didn't really, there really wasn't that many good releases in March. There was a lot of Air Max stuff and I'm not really much of a Air Max person. I really don't like the way they look. The only one I like is probably the Air Max Zero and that's about it. I did actually like the Jordan 6. I just didn't buy it because Jordan 6 are not my thing. They're just, they're too high. I don't know. They're so bulky. I don't really like that that much. But I'm not going to lie. I love the maroon colorway with the white and then you have like that off white, like a little gray. That gray has like a nice smooth feel to it. I don't know if it's like new book or something, but it's like super smooth and it just makes the shoe pop a lot more especially with the maroon and the white like the big contrast between the two colors makes the shoe pop a lot number two on the list is the adidas nmd city sock collab with kith but only the pink colorway because the other colorway it looks so dull i don't i don't know i just don't really like it but the pink one does pop a lot it looks very smooth it looks very how do i explain it it has like a good designer look to it like it has that kith look to it so that's why i like it it's really nice it's, it's a really smooth shoe a lot of people don't like it because the line going down the middle and to be honest i probably would have got the shoe if it wasn't for that line either because the line just kind of kills it and makes it look i don't know it makes it look cheap for some reason if it was just like priming it all the way through without that line in the middle i definitely would have tried copying even though i feel like it was a hard cop but regardless of the fact the resale prices on those aren't that high i think the shoe went for like 200 dollars retail and now they're going for like 230 250 at most so if i would do want it i probably just pay resale. i mean it's not much of resale so i'll probably pay it and number one on the list is the jordan 4 cause colorway and we all know it's probably number one on everybody's list for the month because this shoe is super sick it's super limited and the resale prices are just ridiculous they're going for like two grand if not maybe a little bit lower a little bit higher but that's just ridiculous if you guys are able to pick one up let me know just drop it down in the comments below because i would like to know how many people actually copped and by the way i'm doing this video now because i didn't have the time to do it at the beginning of the month but later on today or probably tomorrow i will do the top three or five sneakers of april before i go i do want to give a shout out to the fan of the day and today's fan of the day is ty gaskin and i don't know if that's my boy ty von gaskin but if it is, what's up? If you did enjoy the video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe. We are trying to get to 50,000 subscribers by whenever. But the sooner the better so I can give you guys an easy giveaway. Make sure you stay woke. Our sneaker side. Alcatraz. Peace.